ready to help me unravel a mystery, friend? This is an important case, I think. Now, I've got an echo case log and a journal of notes around here somewhere. Uh, help me find them so we can pick up the trail. I did that thing where I put it in an unusual place so I wouldn't forget where I put it. <laughs> but then I couldn't remember what unusual place that was. You ever do that? Let's check out this case log. Burton. It's me. Burton. Listen, we're on to something. I've got a hunch. It could be the key to everything we've lost. There's a girl who died, but there's something off about the case. We have to find out what happened to the girl. Damn. You forgot to tell me what her name was. Oh well. Got a lot to do, you and me. Looks like my journal is full of obituaries. Aha! That's what I was doing in the cemetery. Meet me there. And don't forget. I see. I'll try to remember that this time. Merked! I'm struggling with this one. Grasping at these sinuous threads. But they slip through my hands like in one of those stress dreams where you can't pick up a bottle. Or is that just me? Uh, hello? Burton? Uh, hello? Burton? Hey there, friend. No need to fret. I'm here. So you weren't gonna let me use your secret passageway? Not cool, dude. What can I say? Guess I'm just mysterious like that. Besides, a man's gotta have some secrets he keeps just for himself. Now, let's cross-reference these obituaries with the graves around here and see if we can find the girl. This one says Lyle Pittman. Looks like he died trying to give CPR to an electrified critch that he loved. Named Elmer. Oops. That's not her. <clears throat> I've got that obituary right here. Poor bastard. That's the way, boo! Let's see, we've got Audra Mayhew. Missing, presumed dead, after rambling endlessly about reaching the Fish Queen. Why does that sound familiar? Oof, that's a shame. But she's not the one we're looking for either. Ah, that is the last of the gems. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your assistance in this matter. The respite of the Lord shall always be yours when you have need of it. This one says bread? Just bread. With two Ds for some reason. Looks like he died trying to taste the danger. Yeah, that one's a wild story. I'll tell you about it sometime. This smells like a dead end. But I've got a hunch. And I always follow my hunches. Let's check out that crypt. <laughs> I 
can't go in there. What's wrong, bud? Crips give you the willies or something? No, it's not that. There's this whisper of a memory. Uh, go on ahead. Find the girl. She'll be safe in here. I made sure nothing will ever disturb her again. I hope, wherever she is, she can forgive me. Even though I'll never forgive myself. The painting is the key, so I'll keep it with me to make sure she can rest in peace. Well, that was definitely me. But why would I be carrying a painting? Oh, huh. Would you look at that? I, uh, do have it here in my trench coat. I have no memory of this. Uh, come take a look. It's me in the painting. This speaks to me from the far side of a char black chasm. An echo of an echo. Here, take it. I can't look at it anymore. There's something wrong about it. Something missing. Just try putting it back where it belongs. This all feels so familiar. Would you look at that? Secrets upon secrets. Her tomb has got to be down there somewhere. a strange box and a grave marked Iris. Iris? That must be the girl. That name, it stirs something in me. Something pecking at the fringes of my mind. Bring me that box. There must be a connection. 
anybody. But hey, if anything should happen to me, I need you to keep after this mystery in my stead. So here, you hold on to the box for safekeeping. Thanks for your help with all this. I'm gonna go ahead and use my secret passages again. And no, you're not invited. I'll see you at the gunsmith's shop. Huh? <laughs> 